What's going on guys? Sticks here with the Token Minorities bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO and today I am bringing you an updated standard version of Metagross, GX, and Necrozma and before I get into the deck just a reminder that if you guys like this video or found it helpful please leave a like, drop a comment, click that subscribe button it helps us out a ton and let's do more cool stuff for you guys and as for the question of the day honestly right now I am in an incredible mood because I am done with my first round of exams at med school like I'm had a stretch of four exams in two weeks, all of whom were incredibly just brutal. Like, ugh, just killed me. Pretty sure I passed all of them. I mean, I'm three for four, hopefully four for four. I just got done taking my last one. And I just, I, I just feel so free right now. Like, it's just an amazing feeling just having crammed for the past two weeks. And now I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can actually relax. It's an incredible feeling. And that got me thinking, when you guys are absolutely slammed with stuff to do, like you just have an absolute crap ton of like homework, you have a ton of tests, or even in in the workforce, like those of you that actually have real jobs and are real people, first of all, gross, who wants to be a real person? Second of all, like being in a real job, just getting slammed with work for like an entire week, couple weeks, even a month and longer in some cases, what do you guys all like to do? like immediately after I'm not talking about like when you have like the next day you have the weekend to do stuff like relax and go out watch a game that type of thing what do you guys like to do immediately after you hit the end of that absolutely brutal period of just always being busy as for me nothing that's my answer I like to do nothing what I did when I first got back from the exam well besides you know record this was lay down on the couch and just do nothing just stare at the ceiling that's what I did for a good five minutes just what it it felt so amazing to be able to lay there and not have to worry about anything just like I don't like this is my time I'm not taking time out of studying for another class to do this this is my time right now to just lay here and relax and just kind of yeah, decompress from all the intense stress over the past two weeks. So yeah, let me know what you guys like to do immediately after you finish up something, like you finish an intense week of being busy. Put that in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you guys do to decompress. And please keep it appropriate. We both know that this could take a very, very, very bad turn. I'm not even going to go down that road, but just keep it PG, guys. But anyway, on to the deck. Like I said, it is centered around Metagross and Necrozma. And this deck isn't nearly as strong as it was at one time. But I mean, it's still a very fun deck that I enjoy using. The basis is very simple. Use Metagross as the main attacker with Giga Hammer and Geotech System to constantly power up Metagross and deny your opponent prizes in the process. Meanwhile, you can use Necrozma as a backup attacker against things like, well, I guess, Drampa, among others. Drampa, Tauros, those normal type of Pokemon that could give you any potential problems, even though I don't necessarily see too much of that. But it basically gives you a huge attacker with Prismatic Burst, being able to take those big Okos that Metagross really just can't. Even well, only in situations where you can Giga Hammer with a Choice Band against a, well, against a basic GX. I mean, that's really the only situations where you can take one hit knockouts with Giga Hammer, otherwise you're taking two hit knockouts and just denying your opponent prizes. Necrozma is able to take those Okos, and that's pretty much the synergy between the two. I'm gonna go a little bit faster than normal just because, I mean, it's, you guys, I mean, I'm trying to make these a little bit shorter anyway, and also I just wanna play some matches. I am done, I'm done with this. I'm done with this school thing. I just want to play some TCGO right now. So I have a 434 of Beldum through Metagross. I mean, Metagross main attacker makes this deck work. All that having four Metagross is insane and is something that you really want. Two Necrozma just so we can have it as a backup attacker, but not clog up our deck in the process. Two Tapu Lele for the Wonder Tag. Lele into Bridget is the strongest first turn for this deck. And also something I wanted to uh, show you guys a uh, little, you know, hyper rare Lele right there. Just given to me by my main man dead fun i mean he's amazing guy great like i'm just i'm so glad that i was able to meet him just because i mean i told you guys about him in the last live but he gave me a hyper rare lele so i'm working on trying to get another one so that i can throw it into some decks but i just wanted to show this off because of how amazing it is uh two vulpix for the beacon just start off with the vulpix and beacon until you can get metagross set up and then we have some well we just have items and i just noticed that literally all the items in this deck are secret rare okay i've become that guy not bad 
uh, to Field Blower because mostly Garbotoxin, uh, once our abilities are locked, we can't do much of anything and also get rid of those pesky choice bands that can do extra damage to Metagross. Three Max Potion because Metagross retreats and discards energy. Necrozma discards energy with, with its attack. The whole, the whole point of this deck is really prize denial with big bulky things. So Max Potion is great for that when you don't have any energy on them and then you can use Metagross's uh, Geotech system to just move the energy right back on. Three rare candy to go straight from Beldum into Metagross. One rescue stretcher as our method of recursion. We don't need Super Rod because, I mean, Metagross gets the energy out of the discard pile anyway, so rescue stretcher is just all around better. Four Ultra Ball guaranteed gets us what we want when we want. And, uh, yeah, as for these supporters, you have the standard 443 of Sycamore and, and Guzma, just kind of uh, pretty. I, I feel it's standard for me at this point. I'm not sure about the meta. I haven't had the chance to look at too many like winning decks just because I mean I've you know been really busy with exams but 443 is what works for me I like it a Kakui for a little bit extra power and a little bit of draw support Karen as, or that's Olympia but Karen as Pokemon recursion if rescue stretcher just isn't enough Olympia as a way of getting Metagross out of the active spot or resetting stuff like that usually we don't really have to worry about switching all that much just because of Guzma and then also Metagross can attach energies from the discard pile to be able to manually retreat and attach them a lot of them sorry about that but Olympia is there for just a little bit extra healing and switching out. And then one Bridget because Lele into Bridget is the strongest start this deck can hope for, like I said. Three Choice Bands to boost the damage output of Metagross, potentially get some knockouts on basic uh, GXs. And then 6-6 six, six of Metal and Psychic. In all honesty, you can probably go like 6-5 of metal and psychic just a little bit less but you guys know me you know i'm paranoid about energy and yeah that's pretty much how it goes so uh yeah that's the deck and let's just go ahead and see this thing in action Alrighty, we have found one against uh tommy oblivion with uh well it's a fairy deck so uh, that is very good news for me that or that is a fairly good news for okay i'm sorry that was a horrible joke i'm Let's just pretend that that never, ever happened, and we can just move on from there. Uh, but I start off with a... Well, it's a hand. Um, it's... It's good, but it's very... It's an awkward hand. Because, like, I don't want to get rid of the Matang and the Rare Candy. But at the same time, like, yeah. I'm just attaching energy and pass. Like, that's how my turn ends up. Like, it's not... It's not a horrible turn in all honesty. Like, the turn could have been much worse. But at the same time, it was kind of one of those, okay, I have resources in my hand. I have a draw supporter that I could go for. But do I really want to do that? So, I mean, it just ended up not being completely worth it. And I'd rather just slowly get the Matang going. Like, just, yeah, just play it slower. Because even though we're up against what is clearly a Gardevoir GX deck, I mean, we have the advantage to where as soon as I get set up, there's not much my opponent can really do to take me out. Just because I me mean, Metagross is so freaking bulky, I'll be able to one-shot his Gardevoir GXs. So I think, I think the play is to try to play the slow game as much as possible. And then go from there. I mean, this turn I'm obviously going to evolve into a Matang and then Sycamore. So my opponent does make a good play, goes, gets another couple Raltzes and a Vulpix and an Alolan Vulpix to be able to beacon. So my opponent's going to be able to get set up as well. However, if we both take a couple turns to get set up simply due to weakness, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be in the driver's seat. Like that's just how it goes. Um, unfortunately, I get a Guzma. I was hoping for an N, but what I'm going to do here is actually throw the uh, energy into the discard pile rather than attaching it because there we go. So what I can do here is Ultra Ball get rid of the N and the Bridget to grab another Beldum that I can attach the energy to. That way, just like a single energy attack from Gardevoir GX can't knock me out. Well, it can't knock out like a Matang. So what I'm going to do is actually do I want to just put it on the Matang and pray? Or do I want to hold on to it? Uh, actually, let's just put it on Beldum. Let's Beldum and then Beacon. So let's grab... Yeah, let's just grab a couple more Beldum because, I mean, I have Rare Candy into Metagross for this turn. I have a couple Beldum on that I'm going to have in my hand for uh, next turn. So my opponent can either Guzma, bring out the Matang, or he can end me, and then at which point my Matang and my Beldum will both be safe and free to evolve next turn. 
So that's something that I can kind of look forward to having. I mean, Necrozma is going to do absolutely jack all this game just because this is very clearly a Metagross-centric game. Like, I mean, we're against fairies. What do you expect? Like, Metagross it will just not die. And I, yeah, I really don't have to worry about it. Like, Metagross takes the big Okos on the Pokemon GX. And Necrozma is if you need to get a big Oko at some point, you can just use the Psychic Energy to do that. But if Metagross is getting the Okos anyway, you want to use Metagross because that's a much better attacker. Um, my opponent is... Okay, gets a Gardevoir up and unfortunately has an N that is very bad because I would have been able to get two Beldum down and Rare Candy into Metagross. So I can hope for... Well, not this. This is definitely not what I would hope for. Uh, I just... Yeah, I'm praying at this point... Sorry, I hit the desk. Uh, praying at this point that my opponent just... Okay, so he has to Beacon, so I, I bought myself a little bit more time. Uh, there's another energy in the discard pile, and while I cannot disrupt my opponent's setup with Gardevoir, what I can do is just kind of hope. Uh, let's just go ahead and just Field Blower, get rid of that, get rid of that Choice Band off the Oranguru, because that thing could be annoying, and there we go. So let's go ahead and actually get two Metagross up and going. Uh, I'm going to hold off on playing... I'm going to hold off on attacking with Metagross, because like I want my opponent... To be the one to send up Gardevoir first. Um, there's some energy. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and Geotech System throw a Psychic onto the Vulpix. That way at least I have Retreat if my opponent doesn't knock me out. And let's just Beacon. Beacon grab two more Beldum to try to get as many Metagross set up as possible. Because I mean if I get multiple Metagross I think I win. In fact I think with just two I still kind of have I still kind of have a position to win the game. So, even with just two, I'm in a good spot. Uh, but, I mean, four would obviously almost be, like, unable... My opponent would probably be unable to recover from that at that point. And, uh, apparently I really like Beldum. Uh, yeah, my mouse is just kind of... I don't even know. My mouse... Oh, it came disconnected. Let me... Let me go ahead and, uh, try to put that back. My opponent is getting another, uh, Gardevoir. I mean, I really... Then he is Guzmaing. What's he Guzmaing? What is my opponent going to Guzma? Okay, brings up a Metagross. Okay, he's going to bring up the Metagross and hit it with the Gardevoir. Well, the joke's on him. I have a, I have the ability to retreat out and still attack this turn. So I will just attach the... So my opponent made the smart play in bringing up my Metagross and hitting it. But what I can do this turn is play a Beldum, play another Beldum... And then I will have enough metal in the discard pile for, yeah, I definitely will have enough metal in the discard pile for a double geotech system. But let's go ahead and Lele grab a Sycamore. Yeah, I have a Matang in the deck still. I think I'm just going to try to go see if I can draw into a max potion. Okay, I guess my opponent just forfeits because what I could have done even if I didn't draw into a max potion was just retreat out into the Metagross on the bench, double Geotech system, and then I would have been able to one-shot that Gardevoir GX. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that just shows that Metagross has a very, very, very clear advantage over Gardevoir GX, and uh, we, we take those. Didn't get an attack off, so let's try to find another one with this deck. Alrighty, we've got another one against uh, P. Lopez with uh, no idea whatsoever my as to the type of deck my opponent is running. But, I mean, we're obviously going to, you know, find out because, I mean, we're playing it. I uh, start off with, now this is a hand. This is a very nice hand because what I can do, Ultra Ball for a Lele to grab a Bridget to get three Beldums out or two Beldums and a Necrozma. It really just depends on what I need in a given scenario and we're against rainbow road really huh well wow okay so i draw into a beldum i'm gonna ultra ball please be actually i'm gonna keep the guzma just in case my opponent ends me let's lele we'll make sure there's a bridget first yeah there we go okay so there is bridget so i'm gonna grab lele for bridget and because this is rainbow road i'm just gonna go the metagross route again so Unfortunately, Necrozma is going to be sitting on the bench in this one. Sad day for Necrozma, but I mean, it it's a big boy. It, it will learn. It, 
it's a big boy it can handle itself it doesn't need anybody to fight its battles for it it's a proud independent crappy pseudo or crappy legendary uh <laughs> But we are just going to beacon right here. I mean, my opponent literally just drew and passed. So, I mean, unless he has some sort of ridiculously explosive hand, we should be okay. I'm um, holding on to the Guzma just in case I need to buy another turn or something to that effect. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're pretty much good at this point, I think. I mean, getting Alolan Vulpix and four Beldum out turn one is about, is kind of ideal. I mean, having an Alolan Vulpix active, four Beldum on the bench, two Matang in my hand. I mean, really, the only thing that would be better is if I had two Metagross and two Rare Candy. But, I mean, that's that's reaching just a little bit. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very happy with this hand. This is a very good hand. I am completely okay with it. Uh, my opponent is going to Lele. Please don't grab N. Please do. Uh, of course. I mean, that's the right play. But, I mean, I can still, I can still hope. I can still hope that my opponent wouldn't play... Uh, would not play uh, N for some reason, but I mean, maybe I can draw into like Rare Candy Metagross? I don't know, maybe just reward me for my uh, setup or something to that effect? Or this could have, oh actually, you know what? This isn't bad. This is not bad, because what I can do is Ultra Ball, get a couple energy in the discard pile, let's throw a Metal and a Psychic to grab a Matang to just go ahead and try to get that set up so we can uh yeah there we go and then just i'm just spreading out my energy at this point so when i do get a metagross i can like i don't just i'm not just all in this early on a metagross or one matang or something like that and then here what i'm gonna do now is beacon grab two metagross and then hopefully i can sycamore for a into like rare candy metagross or something like that uh so yeah, I mean, we're pretty, we are pretty well off overall. Um, I mean, my opponent has a whole lot of nothing going on right now, so I am completely okay with this. And if he can't, so if he gets, okay, once that Xerneas gets fully set up, I might just try to knock it out. Because he has a limited number of Xerneas. Xernii? Is the, is, the, is the plural of Xernius Xernii? Nah, it'd be Xernius's, but I don't know. I'm gonna go with Xernii, just because that sounds a lot more, like, pretentious. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, as like, yeah. It sounds a lot more pretentious. Um, What my opponent's gonna do is just go into Remoraid, I guess put it up as Death Fodder, which is honestly okay with me. Um, ooh. So what I can do, attach to Beldum, and then, obviously, double Metagross. Like, that's just kind of a foregone conclusion that I'm going to double Metagross. Uh, do I want to end? I don't think I want to end. I think what I actually want to do is go into Metagross and then Algorithm. Well, do I want to Geotech first? Nah. Let's just go ahead and Algorithm, get two Metagross, two Rare Candy, and a Guzma. Yeah, definitely the play. To go ahead and grab those. I put up the Metagross with the uh, Choice Band Hindsight 2020. Probably should have put up the other one, but honest, but I'm really just not scared of this Metagross going down. Yeah, I mean, my opponent had nothing. Like, Xerneas would not have been able to knock me out uh, quite yet. So I, I was pretty much safe for that for the time being. And then if my opponent didn't have N, I would have gotten two more Metagross set up. And then a four Metagross set up is just absolutely terrifying, even if you're a deck. Well, unless you're a Volcanion, because then you're like, oh, Metagross, yum. So, I mean, that was a cool, cool game, too. Like, we were able to get set up really well, but again, I was not able to get off a damaging attack. I was able to get off Beacon, which I admittedly was in the first game as well, but I was not able to get off a damaging attack. So, uh, third time's the charm? We'll see. Alrighty, we have found a third one, and man, the fairy decks are just out in full force today. I mean, I'm not complaining at all, because, I mean, hey, that's free points for me. That's, like, uh, easy victories, and it's easy recording for Metagross. But, I mean, man, so many fairies out. Uh, four, oh, man, if that was an Alolan Vulpix, this would have been a great hand, because I would have had the Bridget. I wouldn't even had to have Laylaid for a Bridget. But at least my opponent has to... Uh, at the very least, my opponent has to draw into, or has to mulligan. So maybe if I can get, how many mulligans? Oh, only one. 
maybe if I can get an energy, if I can get an energy, this hand is phenomenal. Because then I'll be able to retreat into a Vulpix and have three Beldum set up. So yes, please, please, energy, no. Unfortunate, so I'm really hoping my opponent ends me at this point, because this hand is just not good. Like, I do not... Ah, Bridget. I mean, that's the right play, but... Mm, wish... Really wish my opponent would have ended me. I mean, I think what I might end up having to do is Ultra Ball for an end first turn, just so I don't have to get rid of my Metagross, which is something I really, really don't want to do. Uh, my opponent does just retreat into Vulpix, which, I mean, that's fine. Um, ah, this is... Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. I get an energy. Um, let's get rid of the Karen and the Field Blower. I want to keep the Ultra Ball for later. Uh, let's make sure Bridget's there. Yes, it is. So, let's Lele for... Well, I mean, I'm going to Lele for Bridget, which is going to grab me uh, two Beldum and a Vulpix. Because, once again, because, I mean, we're against Fairy Dex, Necrozma is not going to do anything. But, I mean, that's... I'm okay with that. Because if I can hit for weakness, then that's obviously awesome. So let's just retreat into Vulpix. And maybe now I can entice my opponent to N. So let's grab two Matang to get those things set up as quickly as possible. If I can top deck a rare candy, then that would just be like, that'd be Christmas, basically. If I can top deck a rare candy, because then it's like, oh, well, two Matang and a Metagross. Happy birthday to me. Uh, he does attach the DCE to the Ralt, so that's going to be the Ralt that I want to... Well, actually, that's the only Ralt. That's a Deancey, not a Ralt that's also on the bench. So, obviously, I'm going to have to target down the Ralt. But my opponent Ultra Balls for a Gardevoir. That tells me that he's got a, uh, yep, Rare Candy. So, my opponent has full Secret Rares except for Ult... My, okay, my opponent has Secret Rare DCE but doesn't have Secret Rare Ultra Ball. That's kind of interesting to me my opponent ends honestly like that it sucks a little bit but at the same time it's not horrible because oh, okay this is bad never mind I, I liked my hand before because i could have at the very least just waited a turn uh he is going to attach the dce or the floatstone not a dce secret spring loading up that gardevoir the second i can knock out that gardevoir i'm gonna be in an amazing position but he does just decide to Knock out the Vulpix, that's... I mean, that's fine. That's just all the less setup my opponent is getting. Um, what I'm going to do right here is promote Beldum. Uh, the left Beldum, because it's obviously inferior to the other Beldums. But let's get rid of the... Olympia and the Field Blower, I think. Because, like, the Guzma... No. Let's get rid of... What do I want to do? Let's get rid... No. Let's get rid of Olympia and... Field blower. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that to grab a Matang. That way I can slowly, slowly get set up in the background. And then I'm going to Guzma up. Well, first play the Alolan Vulpix because I need a Guzma. I'm Guzma and switching into the Alolan Vulpix. Let's go ahead and, and bring up the Remorade so at the very least my opponent has to attach in order to retreat. Play the Matang down. And then let's Beacon grab a... Matang and a Lele so I can have a supporter at the very least this coming turn and then I can always algorithm GX with my active Metagross I mean all my opponent needs is just an energy to retreat the Remoraid but at least this way I'm forcing him or or a Guzma I guess which would if he Guzmas up my Matang it's going to be very bad I mean this start is horrendous it's pretty horrendous for me um yeah he does just attach the energy and not played a supporter so far. And there is a metal in the discard pile. So what I'm going to do is let the Vulpix go down. Which, okay, my opponent's two prizes up. But the second I get a Metagross set up. Well, the second I get a couple Metagross set up. Like, my opponent is just... My opponent's in a bad spot. So I get the N, which can be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and evolve the active Beldum. I think I might need to buy another turn. Or what I can do is actually Lele. I think I'm going to grab another Guzma. Yeah, stall even longer. Just force my opponent not to have... Just force my opponent to keep wasting energy or resources in order to retreat Remoraid. And if he can't, well, then, I mean, that just means that I don't have to... Uh, well, then that means that I'm 
that I live through the turn. So what I'm going to do here is grab two Metagross, Beldum a Rare Candy, and then maybe an Energy? Yeah, let's grab an Energy as well, so that way my Metagross can attack at the very least. Uh, but if, if I keep this hand, I'm going to be incredibly well off, because that will be three Metagross. Three Metagross and a Beldum. Like, that's... That's going to be insanely difficult for my opponent to overcome. And the fact that this Remoraid is active forces my opponent to have energy or Guzma or something in order to try to get rid of it. And I get to keep this hand. Oh my goodness. That's one of the first Algorithm GXs I think I've ever been able to keep. But I'm, a, I'm about to go off this turn. I really am. So let's Metagross. Metagross. Uh, there is not an energy in the discard pile, unfortunately, so let's just attach this metal energy, and then N, I get six cards, my opponent gets four cards, and whoo, this is, this is juicy, this is really juicy, so let's get rid of the Psychic and the Necro, or the Rare can and Necrozma, no, Rare Candy, I already have three Metagross set up, and my fourth Metagross is prized, unfortunate, so let's go ahead and Geotech System, get that one energy onto Metagross. And now what I can do is just Giga Hammer, knock out the Remoraid, and I'm keeping the Necrozma just in case for whatever reason something comes up. And I get another, I get a Matang off the prizes. That is so nice. So the second a Metagross ends up going down, I'm going to be able to uh, just rescue stretcher that thing back into my hand. And I have the Matang, and I'll have a Matang available to be evolved into it. So right now, even though my opponent is up a prize, I think, well, I'm, I'm pretty positive that I'm in a winning position right now. Because, I mean, three Metagross against a Gardevoir GX deck, and my opponent literally only has one Gardevoir set up. Like, that's that's disastrous for my opponent. Like, he can hit me for an in infinite force. It won't knock me out at this point. Um, it, wait, will it? Yeah, I think it will. Actually, never mind. It will knock me out at this point. Unfortunate. But as long as I just draw into a single energy... I think I'll be fine. So, yeah, he did does end up knocking me out. I think he had the knockout. No, not quite. He didn't quite have the knockout without that, but my Metagross went down in one hit. However, my opponent's only Gardevoir is about to go down. Um, let's go ahead and play the Matang there. Do I want to play Necrozma? Yes, because my Lele's are already targets anyway, so I might as well have Necrozma down as an attacker just in case. And that... Wait... I was about to say, I can't attack, but yes, I can. Because what I can do is... Wait. No, because I evolved my... Dang it. I evolved my Matang this turn. I saw that, and I was like, wait, I can. No. No, you can't evolve twice in one turn. That's bad. And now my opponent's Gardevoir is going to be able to get another hit off. And basically... Okay, so that the hit, unless my opponent gets like... Another DCE would be eight. If my opponent gets another DCE, I'm dead. So I really hope... Okay, my opponent just attached an energy and is now going to premonition. But if my opponent had another DCE, like, that would be... I would just... Well, I'd lose. Like, I would just straight up lose. Or if my opponent has a Guzma. If my opponent has a Guzma, I lose as well. Because then he can just... Or not. Okay, so he does just hit the Metagross. That is great for me. And I draw into an energy, which I can definitely use. I mean, I could have used it last turn to knock out this Gardevoir and not give him an extra turn. But what I can do right here is go ahead and Rescue Stretcher, bring that other Metagross back into my hand. And this is exactly what I was talking about with the Matang off the prizes, why that was so nice. Because now I have three Metagross set up. And yes, my opponent is down to two prizes and I'm at five. But, I mean, what does he have? What does he have to respond? Like, he has Glade. I have another Max Potion in my hand. Like, his attack, his attack from Gardevoir last turn did absolutely nothing. And then what I'm going to do here is Geotech System all the energy onto the active and then attach this energy to the Metagross on the bench. That way, if a Metagross does go down and I don't draw into energy, I still have a Giga Hammer available. So yeah, here we go. And there's my last Metagross. Uh, you're a little bit late to the party there, bud. But regardless, I mean, regardless, I'm fine. Like, okay, yeah, he can go Octillery, and then he has the really cool Premonition plus Octillery setup that he can work with. But otherwise, I mean, I I have three Metagross. 
I have three Metagross. He can evolve into Gardevoir. But at the same time, what's that going to really do? Like, it can attack me, and it, but unless he has... He has to get five energy and a choice band or six energy. Yeah, five energy and a choice band or six energy on a Gardevoir to knock out a three energy Metagross. And as soon as that happens, like, I'll just be like, okay, not attaching to Metagross for a little bit until I can guaranteed get an Oko on this thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. Like... Just take one more knockout, and then all I have to do is knock out a Gardevoir to win the game. I think what my opponent's play this turn is, is to go into Gallade. Actually, no, because Gallade... Well, he doesn't know that I have a Max Potion in my hand. So if he goes into Gallade, he'll hit me for 130. I manually retreat into a Metagross on the bench, heal up my Metagross, and then just Geotech System all the energy back on, and guess what? All my Metagross are fresh again, and I just took a prize, and now I'm two prizes away from winning. So, that actually is exactly what my opponent's gonna do. May I think he's, yeah, he is just gonna try to soften me up, maybe go for a Guzma play next turn. Well, if I did not have the... If I didn't have the Max Potion, he would be going for the Guzma play next turn, I would assume, to try to bring my Metagross up, because there's no way I'm staying active. Like, that's... That would be dumb. So, And he is just gonna... Yeah, Premonition for Artillery. One last Premonition before it inevitably gets knocked out. I mean, my opponent is just putting up this Gallade as Death Fodder at this point. Like, Gallade's going down. But, ooh, we even get a Sycamore. So let's retreat into... Let's retreat into the Metagross with no energy. Like, I just kind of want to keep energy on the board. Max Potion up this Metagross, uh, play the Choice Band onto this one on the bench, and, I mean, in case I need to knock out, like, a Lele at some point or something like that. I can't imagine that I would, but just in case, and then let Sycamore get rid of those guys. Don't need to see those anymore, and, well, anybody want a bunch of Choice Bands? Uh, let's play the Choice Band onto Lele and Necrozma. Do I want to play the Psychic Energy, or do I want to keep it in my hand just in case? I think... Well, obviously, I'm going to triple Giga, or Geotech System. And I think I'm slowly just going to manually power up this one. This way, if my opponent somehow shuts off... Like, I don't think there is a way he'll be able to shut off abilities. But, I mean, this way, in the random case that he's able to... Uh, get rid of all my energy and prevent me from geotech systeming i want to be able to just manually attach and still have a giga hammer ready so i am going to knock out that Gallade. i get another energy so even if he tries to bring up the necrozma or something like that i have i have an energy that i can attach to and then uh well actually i can just sycamore away hopefully draw into another energy then attach and then giga geotech system onto it to manually retreat out and my opponent is going to go gardevoir um he's not going to be able to knock me out there's absolutely zero way my opponent's going to be able to knock me out. Unless I'm missing something, there... I think I just have the win. I really hope I'm not missing something, because if I am missing something, then I'll just cry. But it gets rid of my choice man, it's not a big deal. I'm going to be able to take one shot anyway. Uh, no energy in the discard pile if he does try to bring up Necrozma, so I will have to throw an energy into the discard pile in order to geotech system and also manually attach if I can draw into one. So at this point, yeah, at this point I just have the win. I'm pretty positive. Uh, he can end me. That's fine, honestly. Like all my resources are on the board and this way he, and then also by ending he can't Guzma and that's an amazing end. <laughs> Why can't I get ends like this when I actually want them? Because I mean, now I just win. Yeah, so my opponent just scoops before I'm able to take the last knockout. Uh, got a thousand damage off right at a thousand. That's kind of cool. But uh, either way, fairy decks are inhabiting the ladder today, and we take that easy money. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.